name is Sumaya and today I want to talk about how we can build a Web3 application using Angular. First of all, I am a developer lead at Scaling Parrots, a startup in Italy. Um, I'm an Angular specialist and I work with Web3 every day. So I want to talk about uh, how these two can work together in uh, a really easy way. So when we talk about Web3, we are talking about a uh, decentralized web. And into decentralized web, we can have so many technologies. In this case, we are talking about the blockchain technology. So in this session, when we talk about a decentralized application, we are talking about a blockchain application. So let's see some use cases. There is so many use cases, but I think these ones are the most popular, the most important ones. Uh, first of all, we have Gamify. And Gamify uh, is just a, a gaming application uh, with some uh, benefit on it, on playing in it. Um, they are also called um, play to earn because you play to earn some tokens or uh, NFTs. And uh, the benefit is that um, this token that you earn um, you you really own it. It's not part of the game. You can see it also outside the, um, the gaming application. Um, they are part of uh, they, they are on your wallet, and you can uh, also resell it in other uh, marketplaces if you want. And then we have NFT marketplace. Um, last year we saw a big interest about. Uh, NFTs, also big business uh, in particular around uh, art, the art industry. Um, they was called uh, also uh, play, um, collectibles because um, mainly people just um, want to collect them uh, or just uh, buy it to um, resell it. Um, when the, the, uh, the price rises. And then we have DeFi. I think DeFi is the most important um, use case uh, in the blockchain because um, when we talk about, uh, when we think about uh, blockchain, we think about uh, the first thing that came to our mind uh, are crypto. Uh, so in these applications, uh, we can have um, investments or just um, uh, the possibility to uh, lock our tokens, to let them grow or to have some other tokens um, as a reward. And uh, then we have social media. We have some decentralized social media and um, the benefits are the ownership of the content and the freedom also to um, to post what we want without some uh, centralized organization that decide if our content is appropriate or not. Okay, so let's see um, the architecture of a blockchain uh, application. So in Web2, we had uh, the browser communicating with our web server. And in the web server, we can find uh, the front end and the back end. Um, the difference with the uh, Web3 application is that uh, in the Web3, um, the browser is also, uh, only communicated with the um, web server that contains only the front end. We don't have a backend anymore. Um, all the information we can find it in uh, the blockchain. So uh, the front end communicates with the blockchain um, via the smart contract, and we can find all the information in there. To communicate between the front end and the uh, blockchain, we have providers. Uh, providers can be uh, the provider of um, our wallet. So uh, in this case, um, from MetaMask, if we are um, connected with our wallet to the application, we can um, have the provider from the wallet 
or we can use some um, public nodes to uh, communicate with uh, the smart contracts and uh, so uh, read the information from the blockchain. So let's see uh, the tools that we need to build our application. First of all, uh, we need Angular, so we need to know some basics about Angular. Um, we need a wallet. I suggest uh, MetaMask because this um, browser extension is easy to install and to use and is the most popular one. And then we need this library. It's uh, HRJS and it's a JavaScript library. So um, it, uh, we can use it whatever library or uh, framework uh, for the front end. Um, and it help us to communicate uh, with the blockchain. And then we need to know uh, some uh, something about smart contracts. Smart contracts are just uh, computer programs that automate some uh, operation on the blockchain. Um, so what to uh, use them in our front end, we need the ABIs. The ABIs are just um, uh, an interface of what's written in the uh, smart contract. So um, the smart contract uh, code um, is translated to a um, array of object in which object is a function from the solidity code. So the code of the smart contract. And uh, in each object, we have the name of the method of, uh, um, that we want to call and the inputs, so all the arguments that we want to pass in the order that um, they are uh, listed, and all the outputs, so um, what uh, this uh, function will return us. And then we have the explorer. Uh, there is an explorer for each um, blockchain. In this case, um, there is Etherscan, that is the um, explorer for, uh, for Ethereum. And uh, you can uh, find uh, all the um, public um, smart contracts, all the deployed one, and you can search it um, just with the um, smart contract address. And uh, here we can find all the information on the uh, tra uh, transaction as well uh, um, that's made to the or from the smart contract. We can have in the section uh, contract, we can have the code of the smart contract because it's public. It's um, And uh, we can find also in the section code the um, ABIs, so we can pass it, um, uh, just um, copy it and pass it in our um, in our project. And then we have the read and write um, sections that are just a um, way to try all the function of the smart contracts in, um, in this explorer. Okay, so uh, with this uh, little information, we can start building our uh, Web3 application. So uh, we need to install, first of all, uh, Aethers. And we just imported with an import Aethers from Aethers. So really easy. And from this library, we just need uh, to know about these two classes, the provider, that is uh, the class that provides the uh, communication between our, um, our front end and the blockchain. And then we have the class contract that it's responsible for um, the connection to a uh, smart contract. So uh, for a thing, we need to um, connect our wallet. Um, and uh, to have the information from uh, our wallet, uh, in this case, we are using MetaMask, we need to uh, get the MetaMask provider from 
our browser and uh, we can find all the information about uh, metamask from the uh, in the window object it's window.ethereum and we have uh, our metamask provider um, we have to translate it into a provider that eaters can um, read so um, we just create a new eaters provider so uh, this um, using the uh, metamask provider that we just got from the browser and with this web3 provider we can um, connect our wallet with this web3 provider dot send um, it's a request accounts and this is the easiest way to get our address is addresses because uh, in fact um, this function uh, we are return an array with our address that's uh, why addresses and once we have our address we know that we are successfully connected and then we have to uh, create our contract manager that is um, will be uh, what we need to communicate with the smart contract. So we just create a new contract from Ethers, passing the uh, smart contract address, the ABIs that we just saw how to get it from the Explorer and the provider. We can use the provider from um, the from the wallet as we just saw uh, in the previous slide or we can pass a um, public provider um, from the um, uh, from uh, um, a public node and once we have this contract manager we just need to pass the method name that is the name of the, the solidity uh, function and pass all the arguments so in the abi we just have uh, the object we just um, get the name of the uh, function that we want to call and uh, the inputs all the inputs we need to pass it as an argument in this contract manager and we have to pass it in the right order and in the right types as uh, the abis are saying to us and that's it um we uh, i can uh, leave you with a demo you can find it on my github it's web triangular demo uh, i just made a particular project um for you uh, so you can uh, try on this little uh, information but it's the basics for uh, whatever big application, Web3 application you want to build. Uh, the branch name is transfer. And if you try it out, let me know what you think, if you think it's easy enough uh, or uh, you have some problem with it. And yeah, thank you very much. And uh, let's connect and see you in the next one. Bye.